Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the orange hive. It's still the first month of spring here, so we've got an enormous amount of beekeeping videos that we're going to get out to you guys. So if you'd like to subscribe, like our videos, or even comment or ask any questions, feel free to. The queen in this hive is three years old. She's a 2019 queen, so she's doing quite well at the moment, but we're going to check them out, have a look for some American fowl brood indicators, and see what happens. So I will pop some smoke in them, take the lid off, remove the inner cover and get into them. So the population in this hive isn't amazing, but that's to be expected being that we effectively remove the bees from their old brood nest. So we'll have a look at these frames. This first one looks like it's just still foundation. They haven't really worked on that. It's only been four weeks, so I'm not overly surprised. We'll pop that aside and have a look at the next one. So you can see they've drawn out this one and it's actually got some eggs in it. So the queen has visited this a little bit, but other than that, there's not a lot of action. See if you can spot the queen in this hive. She's uh, blue marked. I haven't seen her in this inspection, but she's around somewhere. So there you go, a bit more brood this end of the nest. Good pattern, bees seem healthy. And again, with this hive, we'll be looking for the signs of AFB, American Fowl Brood. And those signs would be a sparse brood pattern caused by the bees removing the infected larvae. But from the first outlooks, this actually looks not too bad. I'll shake them off so we can have a bit better of a look. There you can see. I think anyone would be pretty happy with that brood pattern. Although it's small at the end of the nest, it's still quite a good pattern. So that cell there looks like it's sunken, but when I have a bit of a look, I can see there's actually a larvae in it and the larvae looks healthy, so I'm not too worried about that. In this frame here, we see the benefits of doing a demaray. We removed the honey frames from this bottom box, which gave the queen a complete frame to lay out. So that center section there is where the original laid brood was hatched. So that's all hatched out and she's actually relayed that. So this queen, albeit three years old, is uh, obviously doing quite a good job. I'm really happy with her. So it's always a good thing to shake off all the bees when you're really trying to inspect your brood. I want to make sure that these hives that I have remaining are in good condition. So I really need to do a thorough inspection. So we can see here a baby bee being born. He's uh, trying to get out, realises that his space isn't enough, so he goes back in to chew a little bit more of the cappings off. It's always fun to watch these little guys being born. It uh, shows you just how amazing the world really is. But as you can see here, there are some eggs and a little bit of larvae as well in that frame. So I'll pop the next one out, have a bit of a look. So this frame is the original frame, darker wax. Looks like the queen has done a great job in laying this one out. Looks like they're having their second brood cycle as we speak. Love the colour of this capping. It's like a biscuit colour. It's beautiful. It looks like there's a queen cup here. A lot of bees make queen cups and leave them for emergency situations where they need to drop an egg in it and continue to feed it. But in this case, I always break them open. In this case, this one is free from eggs, so no swarms here. We'll shake these off and have a 
another close look at this pattern. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of nectar in some of these cells, which could sort of indicate that they might need a little bit of room, but there's also some brood that hasn't been capped, so I'll keep an eye on them. So again, this next frame looks like it's got quite a good brood pattern on it. I'm really quite happy with the way this hive's been ticking along, although this queen's a bit old. I might end up re-cleaning perhaps at the end of the year or maybe at the start of next season, but look at that. For right now, I think, I think I'll just leave her to her own business. I'll shake these guys off and have another close look at the brood. I think they're really doing quite well. A little bit of pollen in amongst there as well. Looks like there's a perforated cell, but it looks like it's been chewed out from the inside. So I'm not going to do anything about that one. Just let them keep going. It doesn't look like at this point this hive has American fowl brood. I've got a couple of test kits on the way, so I can actually test some of the brood. So I'll be doing that in one of my future videos. We've got a little bit of drone comb in the bottom of this one, but it looks pretty good. Second last frame from the end, so you wouldn't expect to see too much brood. But the brood that is there, it looks like it's good quality. I really do love seeing the new fresh wax, fresh comb and good brood on these frames. It's really representational of a hive that's doing a good job. You know, as we're starting the season, we're only three weeks into the first month of spring. We've really got a lot of build-up from these hives to look forward to, and hopefully a lot of honey. This end frame, it's got some eggs in it, but it's basically for stores, a little bit of pollen. They haven't stored any honey in this bottom box, which makes me think that there hasn't been a lot of nectar around. They have got room upstairs. Perhaps they're storing their honey upstairs, their nectar upstairs. But uh, yeah, the bottom box looks pretty clean from honey and nectar. So I'll slide these frames across, put the queen excluder back on, pop the top box back on and the lid. And that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you've got any suggestions or comments or questions, feel free to pop them down the bottom. Thanks very much, guys.